giving you a voice, and making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. I think the next thing we want to jump into is talking about engineering notebooks. So, Grace, if you want to start us off, I know you have uh, a couple of pages that you want to show from your notebook. So tell us about how um, Green Girls focuses their time and why that's important. Yes. Um, so the notebook is very important. Um, you can't win most judging awards if you do not have a good notebook. So um, the Green Girls and I um, revamped our notebook entirely in the 2017 season. We went and talked to Lancers from um, their Team 34 or 15 who won the notebook award um, three years in a row. And we found that they had a handwritten notebook and a typed notebook. The handwritten notebook was for their um, like design drawings and their engineering section. And the typed was for their community outreach and their team section and their business plan. And we've um, honestly loved this um, way of doing things because we're able to write in it and it's more real world. And then we're able to refer back to it as well. We bring it out into the shop with us and look back at the diagrams and all of the old things that we've done in the past to look at how well they worked and like find old numbers that we had used before. And we honestly um, just loved it. Um, this picture is some of the um, data that we collected for our programming and the judges love to see pictures and graphs and um, tables on there. So the more like equations and graphs and stuff you add on there um, is more appealing to the judges because then they see your thought process behind it as well. I got to say, y'all have some really nice handwriting. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That's why we don't do handwritten. <laughs> so we kind of have a similar-ish approach to the answers. Um, we have one page is always dedicated to handwritten that every, every member of the team or every sub-team on our team, which we have five of, will write a paragraph-ish in handwritten about, about every meeting, talking about what they did and what they plans to do. Um, and then we do have a lot of typed paragraphs in the same entries. So we always have a few pictures and written page and some typed. Um, personally, I've never done notebook on a good team. I did notebook on my old team and I was bad at it. Um, but the few things I always re recommend are to start with why. This is great for your engineering design process because you always wanna know why you're doing something. And it's great to capture that into the notebook and explain to the judges why did we decide to go with a six wheel drive over an eight or whatever? And that, that will translate into a, a much better note. Yeah, definitely. Um, at the beginning of the season, our team always tries to focus on what we call a product brief, where we sit down and like plan out our strategy and focus on like the what we want to do versus the how we want to do it, because then we can like start to focus on what our strategy is before we start like delving into all of the specifics. Yeah, um, I had a quick question for you, Grace, and I don't know if others can chime in. So what is up with the signatures at the bottom and then the disclosed to and understood by uh, where a second member has signed? Oh, um, we had that on the bottom of our notebook that we ordered, but it's just a way that once the person that's writing the notebook page finishes it, they sign it saying that it's good. Um, and then another person comes back and reviews it to make sure it looks good, and then they sign off on it as well. Oh, wow. That's, so it's sort of like a checks and balance system. That's, yeah. that's really nice. <laughs> is that required in the, required by the manual? Is that something that judges actually look for? Is that well, something that happens in a real notebook? I believe the, the signatures um, are something that the judges look for because then it shows that everyone's participating in the notebook. And that's what we kind of strive to do is have everyone write in the notebook. Like if this is what you worked on, you write it down. Um, I do not think it's required and I don't think the um, check one is required either. So I believe if, that the signature is required. Correct me if I'm oh, mistaken, okay. but like in chat or wherever, but I think that I believe that the signature is required. Definitely. I don't, I've never seen the checks and balances one. So I think that's a great idea, but I don't believe it's required for the notebook itself. Okay. Yeah. I've never uh, done correct that. Correct me so. if I'm wrong. I think it used to be a requirement, and then it got phased out. Oh, maybe. Ago. Yeah, that's probably where we got it. And then... <laughs> I'm pretty sure. 
because I think in rescue you you had to have it in in, in outreach, but then not in engineering or something weird. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. As well, so. Uh, I, I'm not sure about that. I we've my team's just uh, we sign every meeting just uh, just just to be safe. But uh, definitely, I, I I am not like the authority on whether uh, that's required or not. I mean, we didn't. So <laughs> there that's you how go. we. We're not that strong of a notebook team, but we use the uh, Microsoft like Surface and where you can like draw digitally, which is kind of nice because you can go in and you got as much space as you want. You can format it however you want. And I mean, you can always, you can always erase, you can make it nice and neat, but I mean, looking at you guys notebooks, they're far superior to ours so far. Really got to get on that. So. Yeah, for us, um, we we always do a completely online notebook. We've never done any handwritten stuff. But obviously, for a lot of the math and um, the yeah. drawings and figures, you do need, um, like, you, you can't do that online. What we do for that is we take a picture and we just put it in that meeting. Um, we either take a picture or we, we, most of the time, we actually scan it. We scan it and put it in that as a PNG. So maybe for you, those of you who are watching, if that's something, if you guys don't want to do an actual handwritten notebook, but you have things that need to be, go in there, um, maybe that's a valid way, to, valid way to get that done. I would just be careful with the online notebooks because if they get too long and you're using things like Google Drive in order to collaborate, it, they will take a long time to load. Uh, it's brutal. Trust me. It is. Um, <laughs> Tyler, I guess transitioning there, if you want to click on my engineering notebook, it's uh, highlighted in blue. Um, yeah, it's like 150 pages. It takes a, uh, it's a different oh. notebook than that, actually. Um, it's uh, down in the engineering notebook section. Um, it's about 150 pages. I just wanted to show team. So here's my, we definitely don't have the best notebook ever. Uh, we could, we have a lot to improve on, but um, here it is. It's kind of, it's organized by day. Uh, I think one of the biggest things that at least my team focuses on outside of just content is format. So if Tyler wants to scroll through a little, you'll see that the format for every single meeting is the same. Uh, we have this interesting format. There's a line, then the date, who's there, an agenda, and then every entry should have a picture or two. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about that my team does, but I, th I don't think it's the best thing to do, is that we pretty much write every one of our entries um, from a third-person perspective or the uh, first person plural. So that's kind of, that's using we. So either it's like, we did this or the team did this. Um, I'm pretty sure judges are looking for more so first person, is, am I correct? Well, I think it depends. Personally, like we use your, like we use we, um, but I, I think that that's perfectly fine as long as the content makes it, uh, is, is, uh, is valid. Yeah, I, I had that discussion with myself in Velocity Vortex as I was writing our notebook. Um, I never really came to a sure conclusion. I don't think the judges are going to care that much again or about like how you're writing your notebook. It's more about what's in it. If that kind of makes sense. That's true. Yeah. So now I think we should uh, move into the um, the other the last final section of today, which is like prepare. How do we prepare for competitions? Uh, based on oh. Uh, sorry, there are a few questions. Um, first, I think from Indir Ineder Suchan Suchan Um how do you uh, structure your notebook to when to win design at world? So I think that's uh, that's aimed at you, Peter. Peter. So for us, we structured it as um, we'd have everything because we're only two people, so that it was. It was pretty simple. Everything was either programming or mechanical. So, and personally design, I think is more the mechanical end because I was kind of lazy and Steven did a lot more notebook design than me. But what he did was um, he would have plenty of diagrams because pretty pictures, that makes it look cool. And um, he would have, so you'd have your diagram, but he'd also have all the failed um, attempts of what happened uh, so that you can see like the iteration processes as well as many like full cat on renders when it was when it was ready which also spruce makes i mean you want to you want to give a good impression you want to look at this and think whoa that's impressive because in the end you're you're a judge you only you don't want to read about tuning pid values for 
10 hours you want to see graphs you want to see something cool so i don't know that's what that that's more our approach in that we want to we want to make it look appealing to the eye yeah um so cookie hero 289 said uh i think this is in response to our discussion about signatures or not uh it's what you need in a legitimate engineering notebook like if you're submitting for a patent um yeah i, I definitely think they're talking about signatures um, then turbocharged 14, six, 15, uh, fun fact as a pre rookie team, they were the finalist Alliance at the Chicago robotics invitational. Um, Ooh. yep. Uh, so they asked, uh, what would you suggest the max amount of pages for Google drive is? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'd say if you're going over 200, maybe just start a second doc. It's not that there's like a max number of pages. It's just because of bandwidth and Wi-Fi, it'll take forever to load. As you can see right now with Tyler, like, there is still lag as he's going through this 146-page notebook, um, though he has good Wi-Fi, so it's loading pretty fast. Um, yeah, I think we're going to... Yeah, First so... There's a PDF, sorry, that's what I said. Personally, I would recommend, if you're using Google Drive, start a new document every month. Because or formatting, do oops, I clicked space, and it's going to take five minutes to load all of the spaces I just added into every page and threw off all my formatting. So, I, I definitely spent 20 hours, not a joke, probably at least 20 hours last year reformatting, reformatting that notebook every single month. So, yeah, definitely start maybe, yeah, every month or every two months, start a new doc. Actually, I'm going to go tell my team we're going to do that. Um, Thank you to all of our co-executive producers, keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support, go to patreon.com forward slash fun FRC.